We mark the beginning of a new era for HP in its gaming department. Here's the new Victus which will try to benefit from the gap between the HP's Omen and Pavilion gaming subruns. Made entirely out of plastic, the Victus 16 build quality doesn't seem to be top-notch. Its base is rather resistant to flexes, and the body feels a bit hefty, weighing 2.46 kg and 23.6 mm thick. The bezels of the screen are thin but the hinges are not so stable. On the other hand, the keyboard here is very comfortable. Additionally, on the base, you will find a pretty large touchpad. We were especially impressed by the response times, combined with the fast refresh rate display. Overall, the laptop looks pretty simple and beautiful. On the sides, you get power plug, 3 USB Type-A 3.2 Generation 1 ports, 1 USB Type-C 3.2 Generation 1 port, an audio jack, HDMI, LAN port and an SD card reader. When you pry the bottom you'll see two slots for up to 64GB of RAM, and two M.2 PCIe X4 slots. We're happy that the machine is future-proof. Check out our disassembly video for more information on that. As the name suggests, Victus 16 has a 16-inch screen and you can choose between 60 and 144Hz panels, we've chosen the latter. Since both are IPS-based, viewing angles are excellent. The maximum brightness is 368 nits and the contrast ratio is 1150 to 1 very good results. Furthermore, the display covers 99% of the sRGB color gamut, resulting in vivid colors and great visuals. The cherry of the cake is the color accuracy. When our design and gaming profile is applied, the Delta E reaches 1.0 which is amazing. The display doesn't use PWM so it's comfortable for long gaming sessions without harming your eyes in this aspect. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. HP Victus 16 has Bang & Olufsen branded speakers producing sound of decent quality. It is equipped with a 70 watt hours battery pack, and we were able to extract 10 hours and a half of web browsing, and 7 hours and 40 minutes of video playback from it. The model can be ordered with AMD Ryzen or Intel Core processors, and for the graphics department, you can choose between the GTX 1650, RTX 3050, RTX 3050 Ti, and RTX 3060. We decided to test the RTX 3050 variant which turned out to use the 75W version of the GPU. It's powerful enough to provide around 60fps on max settings when playing games like The Witcher 3 or Call of Duty Warzone. Check for yourself. I knew. Couldn't stop talking about how useful they are as creatures. Because you can brew potions from their blood? <laughs> no. Because by eating rotting corpses they prevent epidemics. Hmm. Did he know they eat the living as well? No. Really upset him too. His theory collapsed. Although the Victus 16 is behind the Omen series in terms of quality, it's a good option if you're looking for a 16-inch gaming notebook that won't break the bank. The thing that impressed us the most is the display, it has great viewing angles, good brightness, and contrast, amazing colors, and fast pixel response times. It's suitable not only for gamers but for professionals too. You'll find many more tests and benchmarks in our detailed review, the link is in the description. See you again!